miracles still happened. There was a magic spell which opened a gateway to the enchanted land of Simsala, the place where all the fairy tale characters really lived. Abracadabra, Simsala Grim. <laughs> Ready for a new adventure? Let's go! unusual. What kind of strange creatures are you then? I am Yo-Yo, the greatest adventurer since, well, ever. <laughs> and, and I am I'm Dr. Croc, scholar, philosopher, and virtuoso of... <laughs> well, I'm Joanna, and this is my twin brother, John. Oh, thank you, my dear. How about... <laughs> Tell me, why, why are you chained up like that? Mm. <coughs> Did you do something wrong? You lazy good-for-nothings. You don't stop working until I say so. Understood? Now keep that millstone moving. Or there's no dinner for you for the rest of the week. Come along, Grimalda. Our soup is getting cold. Yes, uh, <laughs> Mother of Garrus. <laughs> if only our real mother was here. It's all right, Joanna. Don't cry. Crocky, we have to do something. Oh, uh, just one second, Yo-Yo. <clears throat> oh, now tell me, f friends, if she's your stepmother, what happened to your real mother? She killed her so she could have the mill and everything for herself and her terrible daughter. <gasps> we were very young at the time, and she's kept us locked up here ever since. If only we could let the king know. He would do something, I'm sure. It's hopeless. We'll never get out of here, ever. Don't you believe it? We'll get them out of here, Doc, won't we? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, sure we will. All we need is a time. Okay, first off, Where's the key? Hanging round our stepmother's neck. <gasps> oh, great. Now all we have to do is find the king. We must hurry, though. When she finds out we're gone, she'll use every magic trick she knows to catch us. How far is the castle? I'm not sure. It's somewhere on the other side of the forest. The forest? Oh, no. Not in the dark. Well, 
is it? Who's taken it? No, it can't be. Mother, what are you doing? John and Joanna have escaped. Think, think. What's the first place they'd go to? The king! Of course. I have to stop them, Grimelda. Before they blurt out our little secret. Magic mirror, let me see where those siblings dare to flee. Water? Oh, I'm so thirsty. So? Thought you could get away from me that easily, did you? You just can't. I'll wipe those smiles from your pretty little faces. Poison water, west and east, those who drink it. Turn to beast. Here we go. <laughs> Yikes. What is that? Joanna. Come take a look at this. Mother? Mother? Come no nearer, my beloved children. Thy stepmother has cast a spell upon these waters. Poisoned it is, and evil is she. Drink from this pond, and accursed you will be. Wait. That pond really is cursed. Oh, you can say that again. Look, there's another pond up ahead. Do not drink, my dearest son, or a tiger you'll become. Witch! She must have cursed every pond in the forest! Oh, oh I'm so thirsty! I've got to at least try John, it! please be careful! John! Hey, it looks okay! Mm. Come and try! Oh, fantastic! Oh, oh. Oh. No, John, don't! M mother <gasps> Oh, no. The dear Of all the spells, it had to be my weakest that finally caught him. John, I told you to be careful. I'm sorry, Joanna. I was just so thirsty. What are we going to do now? Hey, Crocky. Ever get the feeling you're being watched? Who or what are they? Two sniveling little gnomes trying to help, I suppose. Wait till I get my hands on them. I'll turn them into two. So... Hey, we could spend the night in there. Oh, it's creepy in here. It is, but the way I feel, I could sleep anywhere. Oh, oh John, my dearest brother. John, what is it? I want to go out, Joanna. I have to run through the woods. I can't stand being cooped up here anymore. I don't think you should. It could be dangerous. Maybe later when... John! John! 
John! John! Wake up! Wake up! Both of you, quickly! What? <laughs> there! Didn't you hear it? Hear what? That! It's a hunting horn! There are hunters out there! Uh, it's a forest, my dear. You often find hunters in the forest. <laughs> but, but John is out there! We have to find him, Yo-Yo, before the hunters do! Well, I... John, out there in the forest? Why didn't you say so? Crocky, wake up! We have to save Come John! Crocky! Oh, what's going on? There's nothing here to hunt. Uh, it sure looks that way, Your Majesty. Maybe we should call it a day, Your Majesty. There! Quick! After him! Yeah, yeah. The king! That's a stroke of luck. Joanna, we can tell him all about your evil stepmother. Yo, yo. It's John! They're hunting! <gasps> oh, my brother! My poor brother! We must save him! <gasps> yeah. They're heading yeah. back this way! <sighs> yeah, get up. John! Yeah. Look out! Got him! Joanna! Stop right there! Haven't you done enough harm already? And who, might I ask, are you? We're the guardians and protectors of John and Joanna! Who have not done their job very well, by the looks of it. I see. Well, if she is Joanna, who is John? There! That's John! The one you hunted down and injured! The deer? Right, quickly. Let us return to the castle. We will take care of them both. If that's all right with you, noble protectors. <laughs> Esteemed colleague, might I just ask, which method are you employing? Hello, sap. A touch of clover. And another herb whose Latin name is so long, I can never... Anio bendentitious. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. Now, what he needs now is sleep and quiet. Time will decide the rest. Let's have a look at the young lady, shall we? Hmm. Interesting. Well, how is she? It's a classic case of twin empathy syndrome. Whatever one of them feels, so does the other. Even pain. Twins? Well, where's the other one? Beside her, Your Highness. John is her brother. I don't understand. How can a girl and an animal be siblings? John and Joanna have been the prisoners of their evil stepmother. When they ran away, she cast a spell on them, turning John into a deer. That's when they were trying to find you. As long as John recovers, Joanna will recover at the same time. Look! She's stirring. I'm sorry about what happened. How are you feeling? Better. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Shh. Rest now, dear lady. Everything's gonna be all right. So long as that stepmother has no more tricks up her sleeve. She will... She will be all right, won't she, Doctor? The girl is exhausted, Your Majesty, but, but I think with rest and a special herbal bath... Maid, draw a bath. I want it filled with rose petals, a pine essence, um... Lavender. Yes, lavender, and, um, anything else the doctor orders. Uh, maybe on the nearest tincture. Now what do we do, Mother? <laughs> they found the king. And the king? seems to have lost his heart to Joanna. I might just have my most wicked plan yet. Good morning, kind sir. 
No one's allowed in without his majesty's approval. But we have brought special oils and herbs by order of the king himself. Nope. See? You can smell for yourself. Yes, very nice. But as I say, his majesty has ordered the... Ooh, well, well, that is nice. What is... <laughs> I'm sure this will please you, my lady. It was one of your mother's favorites. My mother? How, how do you know what my mother's fate? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I feel so weak. Oh. John. Wake up. I don't get it. What's the matter with him now? And now it's your turn, dearest. Drink this quickly. Yeah. Yuck. It tastes bad. There, see? But I look just like Joanna. No, except for the eyes, maybe. Just hide them a little, my angel. And everything might turn out even better than we expected. Your Majesty, the maiden Joanna is here, as you requested. Guards, leave us. Fair Joanna. My wise father once taught me that a king is only as good as his queen. I have searched long and hard to find such a maiden as you. Oh. Uh, I would consider it a great honor if you would become my wife, and of course the queen of this great kingdom. Well, I guess... Forgive me, you are tired, my dearest. Perhaps uh, another day we can discuss. <clears throat> Not at all, Your Majesty. I would uh, be uh, honored to uh, be your wife and queen. You would? You would? Oh, that's... Uh, that's... Uh, we shall be married as soon as possible. But it's our wedding day tomorrow. Joanna will be heartbroken if John hasn't recovered by then. I... I just don't understand it, sire. One minute he was getting better, now his heart seems very weak. <sighs> so, if your twin theory is true, something must be wrong with Joanna, too. I'm afraid so, Your Majesty. But it doesn't make sense. I've just seen her, and she's perfectly well. It's puzzling, Your Majesty. Very puzzling indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Joanna. <laughs> Joanna, my poor brother. What has she done to thee? That evil stepmother who poisoned me. She doesn't look at all well, Cracky. Oh, that'll explain why John is ill, too. Come on, we have to tell the king. <laughs> Out of the way, please! We have to see the king! <laughs> it's getting late, my dear. You must rest, so you're fit and well to enjoy our wedding tomorrow. Yes, uh, your uh, majesty. Uh, before you go, I've been trying to think of a gift for you. What do you wish for, my dearest? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Well, uh, actually, uh, there is something. Anything. Just name it. The deer. I would like it destroyed. But why? I mean, he's your brother, isn't he? Because... 
Uh, I just, uh, I just can't bear to see him suffer any longer. <laughs> We're running out of time, Yo-Yo. We have to distract him. Well, if that is your wish, then... <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> What's going on? Hey! <laughs> Hey, you! Uh, what? Joanna? My poor brother. Wait! Please! Your Majesty, you have been deceived. That woman and her maid are really the twins' evil stepmother and stepsister. Yeah, they poisoned Joanna and are trying to take her place. No, it can't be true. We heard shouting, Your Majesty. Is everything all right? Come here, both of you. Tell me, my dear, why do you never look me in the eye when you speak to me? <laughs> Imposter! Uh, uh, Our friends won't uh, wait. Uh, uh, you insolent toads! One step nearer, and I'll turn all of you to stone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my dearest Joanna. Oh, the spell has been broken at last. Quite decorative, don't you think, your majesty? <laughs> oh, Joanna, I'm so glad you've become my wife after all. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me for interrupting your little snack, John, but may I suggest... Rocky, I'm sure he can manage by himself. Oh, all right, then. <laughs> uh, goodbye and good luck, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Farewell. Thank you. And Bye. thank you. Simsa. Simsala. Simsala Grimm. And they all lived happily. Ever?